would love to see a video on facial recognition. I think we can do that. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Tutorial Tuesday, the series where you guys ask questions and I do my best to answer them as quickly and efficiently as possible. And today this question comes from last week's video from quite a lot of you actually, where we did the installation and configuration of DeepStack on Home Assistant, allowing you to do object recognition. And in that video, which you should totally check out if you haven't already seen it, I mentioned that DeepStack can also do facial detection and recognition. And so here I am, answering the demand of the people. So today I'll show you how to update your DeepStack install to support facial recognition, how to run your first detection, and finally how to train DeepStack using your own face so that you can use your own cameras. Very quickly, if you like this video and you want to see more just like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and I will very much appreciate it. And if you want your question answered in the next Tech Tutorial Tuesday, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and you never know, I might just answer it. First things first, if you haven't seen the first part of this video where we did object detection, make sure to go back and watch that because there are some things that we covered in that video that we aren't gonna cover here and also some things that we might move a little bit quicker through than we did in that video. Heading over to your terminal, I'm gonna assume you already have Docker up and running as per the first video. If you already have the object detection container up and running, we need to stop that first so that we can start a new one with updated settings. Go ahead and use the docker container ls-a command, then find your container ID or name, and then run the command docker stop and paste in your container ID. Then we're gonna start up a new container using the docker run command similar to the one we ran in the first video. Note that I am setting the vision face to true this time, which enables the face detection portion of DeepStack. If you would also like to run object detection as well as face detection, then you can add both options to the command like this. We also add the dash V argument, which will make sure that any images that we teach to DeepStack are persistent and not lost. Be aware that whilst you can have face and object detection running at the same time, there will be a higher demand for memory. So make sure to keep an eye and monitor that if you decide to have both enabled. Once your container is up and running, you should have a screen that looks like this. Same as before, make sure to leave this open as we're gonna come back to it later on in the video. Head over into Home Assistant and then into Hacks. Add a new integration for Hacks, this time searching for Deep Stack Face and installing the Deep Stack Face custom integration and then restart your Home Assistant. Once again, this is an excellent integration from Robin Cole, so make sure to check out the GitHub link in the description. Head into your Home Assistant configuration and then you're gonna to want to add the following image processing lines to your config. Make sure to set the IP address of your DeepStack server, set detect only to true or false, configure the save file folder, if you want the overlay boxes to appear, and finally the source camera. The detect only option tells DeepStack to run a detection or detection and recognition. Detection will simply look for a face within an image, whereas recognition will try to actually identify that person. You're gonna to want to set this to false if you want DeepStack to actually be able to learn faces and recognize them within the image. Again, look for a full list of options within um, Robin's GitHub linked in the description. Restart Home Assistant again, and then we are ready to run our first detection. For this example, I've set up a camera inside of Home Assistant that has an image of my face from a YouTube video, which is a little weird. However, I don't have a doorbell camera, which is an ideal application for this, so I just set up a test image. Head over into Dev Tools and States, find your image processing sensor, and then you will see it has an unknown state. Then head over into your services and find the image processing.scan service and then choose the DeepStack entity from the dropdown and click the scan service. Remember, DeepStack is triggered from the service rather than running continuously. Head back to your terminal and you should see a new entry appear in the menu. Remember, it's not uncommon here for the first detection to take longer than any subsequent ones. Once finished processing, you can head back into DevTools, then States, and in the Entity box, it will now be populated with information. You can see mine has detected a face in the image, which is great, but it doesn't know who it is, and that's because we haven't taught any faces to DeepStack yet. If you don't want to teach any faces to DeepStack, then you can just stop at this point. But if you do, we're gonna need a collection of images in order to train our DeepStack model. 
You can see here I've grabbed six different images from some YouTube videos. Obviously they all look similar and the same, which isn't ideal. Ones from slightly different angles would be better, but for the purposes of this demo, it's fine. If you're planning to train DeepStack with some images, I would suggest using images from your actual doorbell camera or whatever you're using so that the view of the camera matches the images that we're teaching DeepStack. Hopefully that makes sense. You will need to upload your collection of photos to your Home Assistant server so that we can teach them. You can see here I've uploaded mine into the www folder under a subfolder called Lewis and my images are named from one to six. I'd recommend keeping them to single person images only. I think you can do images with multiple people in them but we're just gonna keep it simple for this one. Next, head back to DevTools and Services, and then this time from the drop down box, you will want to choose the Image Processing Deep Stack Teach Face Service. Then in the box, enter the name of the person you want to detect, and then enter the file path to your first image. Hit the call service and jump back over to your terminal. This time, you should see a hit on the register URL. Well done, we've just taught DeepStack our first face. Now you will see if I rerun the image scan service and head back into states, my image processing sensor now recognizes me in the image and adds my name to the attributes. It also gives us a confidence level. You can see it's pretty high from this test image, but not all the way there yet. If I now go back and repeat the teaching process for the rest of my images and then scan once again, it results in a higher confidence level. We can also go and check our outputted images and you'll see that DeepStack will also draw a box around the face it detects. Finally, we need to run our cleanup on the container once again. Head back to the terminal and hit Control plus C to stop the container. Use docker container ls-a to get the container ID. Run docker start to start the container in headless mode. And finally, use the docker update command to ensure the container starts on reboot. One final thing you want to do is if you previously had an object detection container running, we can now remove it to keep things tidy. Use docker container ls-a to list your containers. Find the old container ID by using the status columns to figure out which one is which, and then run the following command to remove it. And that is pretty much it. We should mention the security aspect of this and that is something to be aware of is that you can probably fool the camera by holding up an image of someone. So for example, if somebody held up a photograph of me up to the camera, I would imagine it would be fooled by it. I haven't actually tested this and it's something we could obviously revisit if you guys want to know about it. Um, but the camera, if you think about it, the camera doesn't have any extra sensors like 3D or depth sensors to actually work out um, any features on my face or any 3D depth or anything like that. It's just got a 2D image to work with. So think about it like the iPhone has additional sensors within the camera to work out the depth and things like that. It's a lot more accurate. So just something to be aware of, but I do think there is still a ton of uses for this application. But that's about all the time we have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a very popular one requested by a lot of you, so I hope it was useful. And let me know, are you planning on using this in your setup and where do you plan on using it? I'm very interested. Please do let me know. Make sure to give it a like if you liked it, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, and leave your comments or questions for the next Tech Tutorial Tuesday in the comments box down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Pew.